but I was kind of a skeptic. As I think, uh, as, as the chair introduced me, I have a, uh, my degrees are in meteorology. You see a lot of day-to-day -day variation in weather. And you also see when you take a look at weather models, uh, back when I was started, back in the dark ages of the 70s, uh, after about three days, they weren't really worth very much. So it took me, honestly, a while to realize that in weather, it really matters about how do you start those models. It's called initial conditions for the science folks. Uh, Whereas the climate models really work on boundary conditions. It's like how much energy is coming in? How many greenhouse gases do we have? Where are the continents? Where are the oceans? And you realize that. And this is why the, the climate models are useless at telling you what it's going to be like today or tomorrow, things like that. But they're pretty good at the overall trend. So when I looked at that, and one, frankly, I was asked by the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gary Ruffhead, to look at this for the Navy, I just said, well, what's, what's the evidence show? And that's where it really, uh, I came to it. So, you know, I'm probably like the reform smoker. Uh, but it was really just simply looking at all these independent lines of evidence. Uh, that, to me, said, we've got an issue here, and we're going to have to do something. Uh, and, Doctor, the, the evidence is right behind you on that chart. That's the evidence you're just, talking just, about. Just one, one yeah, line. one but data point. We could have point, a chart but, like that yeah. for the rising seas and for many, many other lines. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, and uh, do you believe science has progressed on climate, uh, on climate change? I, I think the evidence has shown that science in many fields, and including climate, uh, it, it's not a nice linear process, but fits and starts. So when you take things like. Uh, you know, whether it's different observation techniques. I mean, there's a, there's a paper that just came out, uh, I think I saw a day or two ago from NASA measurements talking about maybe more snow in Antarctica. We're going to have to look at that. Uh, but, that's, but that's interesting. So we, we get these ups and downs. But overall, uh, and we've seen this in the IPCC and many other conclusions, that the level of confidence that the basic theory of greenhouse gases from the 19th century is in fact correct.